I am the product of resistance, pain, joy, and the most rewarding of all, love. Now that hardworking, beautiful woman right there, that's my mom. And that pretty little girl running in the room, that's me, Rain Days. I'm a product of her teachings, always watching, always waiting to see what magic she would conjure just for us even in the midst of our hard times. She always made things work. I always knew that I wanted to be just like her, a nurse. I wanted to help heal others from pain and suffering just like my mom. She said she named me after the dark days she went through in order to get through to the brighter seasons and that life brought her the rain she needed to grow to produce new life. And that's how she came up with my name and like a rose from concrete, my mother rose above it all. She built my life around having confidence and dignity in oneself. responsible, be original, be self-sufficient, and most of all, look inward for my strength in the darkest hours. I'm grateful to have been loved. Love liberates. If you want to make that roster, you better fight through it. Adonis, I've seen you go from a high school undersized kid to a college all-American quarterback. You know I believe you, right? I know that. <laughs> Someone once told me that love is the center of the universe. Some say it's for better or for worse. I say love is more than a four letter word. Love can make you feel real low when triggered by unresolved traumas from the past, not realizing we carried the trauma into all our relationships. When love wants to be the center of our universe, it is important to consciously keep love as our driving force. Because when love hits you, you're not supposed to feel pain. When love strikes, it does not leave bruises. Love has the ability to take our breath away and simultaneously bring inspiration throughout our whole being. Love is free, love is secure, Love is safe. Love is compassion in each embrace. Love is willing, willing to be patient, willing to understand, never raising their hand unless it's to ask a question to gain clarity. Because the whole premise of love is to create unity. You know, since this is gonna be a daddy's girl, I was thinking we name her after me. Born. Come on, I was thinking of Donna. She means daddy's daughter. What you think? I actually like that. Like that. Adana. Mm -hmm. My Donnie and my Donna. Anybody home? Hey. Hey, babe. Hey. How's it going? Where's Adana? Adana. Adana! 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 You hope my baby hot for me in here? You know you don't let it be tickled. Boy, she not in here, and you better not come in with all that tickling shit. Oh, don't come in with all that tickling shit. No, don't come in. Stop! Stop! Oh!
Oh, you tried to scare daddy, didn't you? <laughs> you tried to scare me, didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Let her go. That was cool. That was true. We're gonna take you to grandma's house. Come on, let's get dressed. Is your daddy hitting your mommy? Are either one of them putting their hands on you? Now, Madonna, I know they're your parents. And I know you love them. But sometimes, people can have anger built up in them. And it causes them to yell and fight. You, need, you gotta be honest with me, okay? Well, Pinky swear to tell Grandma if somebody is being angry with you. You know Grandma loves her baby. Now go on over there with your mother.
Madonna. Madonna. So what happened? You know you can tell Daddy, right? Yeah. Nothing happened, Daddy. Grandma asked if your mama had been hitting me. She actually not? Yeah. Has your mama been hitting you? No. And since when do I put my hands on my baby? I'm just asking a question, damn, right? I mean, these bruises, they come out of nowhere. Well, I don't believe in people abusing their kids. And I especially don't believe in women being abused either. So then what really happened, right, huh? I don't know. When she woke up, she had bruises on her. So she just woke up with bruises on her face. You been hitting my baby right now? What? Are you crazy? Drunk? High? Or all three? What the hell you think you're talking to her? Right I'm just saying. Why would I put my hands on my baby? I don't know, right? Maybe because in spite of what we got going on, maybe decide to take your frustrations out on her. Is that what it is? Huh? I'm not even taking this. And I'm not entertaining you. I'm tired. I need to check on my baby. You need to leave. Rain. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking Adama to my mother's for the weekend. What makes you think that's a good idea? Take my baby girl away from me for a couple days. You, you've been under a lot of pressure for this season and you could use some time to relax. How the fuck can I relax when you're taking my baby girl away from me, huh? Oh, come here, huh? You thought about that before you started packing bags, huh? No. You think about it before you started packing bags, huh? No. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! No. This is a game, huh? No. Bring your ass up. Did you think about that, huh? Did you think about that? No. So that's what you want, Adonis? I'll be in the house in a minute, okay, Adonis? What you want? I told you not to put your hand on my friend anymore. Who do you think you are? Seriously? You think because you got a good relationship with your daughter that you could come around and do this to her? Listen, I'm gonna take my baby to get something to eat. Don't come to my mama's house with this bullshit. Eat, I eat. Fuck you. you! Don't worry, Adonis. 
Ray may not do anything about this now, but you will not get away with this. Are you stupid enough to think that this starts and ends with what you do to my friend? I ain't trying to hear all this. Nigga, whatever. What you don't realize is what you're doing now will someday have a huge effect on Adana. Because one day, she will grow up to realize the coward her father really is. And on that day, Adonis, nothing will compare to the pain of losing your daughter because you couldn't keep your hands off her mother. is someone who steps in to support the parent of the child emotionally and or spiritually. I thought it meant like you're my second mom or something. <laughs> well, in the event that something were to happen to your real parents or they were incapable of taking care of you, then yeah, the god mom would step in and act as the parent. So, is something going to happen to my mom and dad? No, of course not, Madonna. I would never let anything happen to your mother. And I promise to do everything in my power to keep it that way. You too. I love you, Madonna. I wanna tell you something. Your mother is a strong, smart, beautiful, and loving mother. And I'm telling you this because one day you may need to remind her of this. Okay. Okay. Is everything okay, baby girl? Yeah. You haven't seen anything since you left the house. Don't let that situation with Faith bother you, okay? Is something gonna happen to Mama? No, baby, she's fine. Like I said, everything's gonna be fine, okay? Okay. Your ass is gonna better. <laughs> What's up, baby? So you could answer my phone or text me back? I'm asleep. I didn't feel it vibrate. Oh, you didn't feel it vibrate, huh? What's up, Adonis? Why are you here? I can't even see my baby. I'm not your girl. <laughs> Why can't you see my other baby? She's sleeping. But then wake her ass up. Adonis, it's late. You need to leave. What the fuck you think you're talking to, huh? It's late. Hey, this is late. I don't give a fuck if it's late. This is my baby, too, so I can see her whenever I want. Hmm? 
together anymore and he's still coming around acting like he can control you i've been wanting to get away from him it's just she has this amazing relationship with adonis she would be devastated if i took her away from him like that rain she would be devastated if she were to grow up and find out that her mother has been accepting abuse from her father what you want or better yet that her perfect father has been abusing her mother what you want me to do faith was working on something earlier and she got a little bruised, that's all. <sighs> okay, let me kiss her like you do for me when I hear. Aww, that's so cute. Well look girl, I gotta get to work. You make sure you call me so we can finish talking about this. Bye Faith. Bye Faith. Bye Faith. I gotta get out of here too. Okay. Okay. So, how was your weekend? Good. Okay, what do you want to do next? I don't know. Well, how about we get you a bath? Because I can smell your little finger from here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. I'm so sorry, baby girl. For what, mommy? For having you go through this. That's okay, you're not doing anything. That's the problem. 
I'm not doing anything. Something to get off your chest. Yeah, I do. What's up? I finally figured out why our baby girl been waking up with bruises. Oh, really? Yeah. Every time you hit me, she wakes up with bruises. Put two and two together. <laughs> Did you sound crazy? Did you, know you not see her face the other day? I'm telling you the truth. Hmm. So that's the best you can come up with? So let's see if we can prove your theory is true. How about I just beat your ass right now? Stay here tonight. And then wake up tomorrow morning and see if she got That doesn't make any sense. What the fuck would you do that for? It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> what you mean? Hmm? Let's find out then. You might as well take your ass in the room. Go to sleep. I'm gonna sit here on the couch tonight. We'll wake up in the morning and see if it's true. Your mother, Your mother is a strong, is a smart, 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 beautiful, and loving woman. And I'm telling you this because one day, one day you may need to remind her of this. Okay? Okay. It's okay, Mama. You can cry. You're a strong, loving, and beautiful mama. And I love you so much. I love you too, baby. <laughs> now buckle up your seatbelt so we can go, okay? Domestic violence is something that has affected me firsthand. And I recently found out that it has an effect on my mom as well. That she too is a victim of domestic violence. By the hands of my father. I was a little choked up hearing this news from my mom. But I come to find out that my father's not the only animal. And that I too became a threat to the ones that I love. There were several times in which I took my rage and insecurities out on the mother of my child. 
It not only affected her, but affected our beautiful daughter. So Rain, if you're watching, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being there for me, but most importantly, thank you for not giving up on me. You are a strong, beautiful, and intelligent mother to the best daughter that any man could ask for. And I thank you for that. I kind of realized that domestic violence has affected me ever since I was a kid in more ways than I can count. And as a result, that's why I'm starting a foundation, a nonprofit foundation that will bring awareness to domestic violence and child abuse and hopefully put an end to the patterns that it causes and start breaking these generational curses. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys will support this foundation and support me in my journey of becoming a better man.